So I've uh, decided to try a game of uh, regular uh, Crusader Kings 2. Uh, traditionally, I've been playing a lot of the Game of Thrones mod, uh, but I wanted to see what was going on in the regular game. Uh, last time I played, I played for quite a while as uh, Count Mistislav of the Rus. Uh, Novograd was my homeland. I decided to go with Novograd again. Uh, this time as uh, this chief, Silvaladabad or something. I forget his name exactly at this moment. <coughs> uh, this is just me trying to uh, get oriented again. Uh, this is a brand new, fresh install of the game, so all the uh, tips are back on and everything. I uh, recently got a uh, solid state drive, so I had to reinstall Windows and reinstall all the games and stuff, so everything's all new. Um, plus, uh, since I've been playing the mod, I uh, haven't really upgraded the game in quite some time. The mod gets kind of unstable, so a lot of things might actually be new. Uh, I guess it's Sivana Topok of Novograd. It's got uh, quite a few titles quite a few claims, and this is uh, kind of where I uh, based right now, uh, right next to Kiev, uh, right above Bryansk, I'm looking over my titles, I think I'm trying to figure out uh, what to do with all the extra titles that I have. Um, I'll try to figure out if I want to create the duchy, which uh, turns out I don't think I have enough prestige to do, so I have to hold off on that for a while. <coughs> Checking out uh, my council to see if I have anyone who's uh, way better than anyone that I have currently employed. Uh, still giving me a lot of good hints, so probably read some of those. Learn a little bit more about the game. Uh, looks like I'm not married, so I need to uh, find someone, you know, good skills to marry, hopefully. I'm going to try searching the realm, see if I can find someone uh, really good. I need to look for a woman. Be a good help. Trying to find someone with good skills, which I think I already said. Uh, it's kind of a tough decision. It's hard to make up your mind. Probably would help if I look for unmarried women. I'm trying to look at some of the top uh, people right now with martial ability. See if uh, any of them seem like they'd be good. Uh, the top lady has the genius trait, which could be good. Not too many women in my filters that have the genius trait. Trying to look at uh, other aspects of these women to see if. Uh, I'm interested. Doesn't look like I am. 
Because if it's not obvious, I uh, recorded the game the other day and I'm trying to add sound uh, later, trying to remember what was going on when I was playing. Uh, so right now I'm looking uh, for attractive women, which can uh, help you with diplomacy if uh, you're attractive. So in this case, I'm looking for an attractive woman who can uh, possibly pass it on to our offspring. A couple of them, a couple of them are Irish, a couple of German, and Anglo-Saxon. Uh, not sure what I, I guess I got rid of the filter. Yeah, I always have a tough time trying to figure out who I want to marry. I guess I'm pretty indecisive when it comes to this. It's also been a while since I played the base game, so I don't really... Uh, it's a little easier once you got a game going. You kind of know uh, who you want to become allies with, etc. Right now, everything's uh, kind of very fresh and new, so I'm not really totally into everything. Looks like I'm allowed to take people as concubines as well. Mm. Actually, I don't know too much about that. Uh, I haven't really been playing too much the base game. And I haven't really been playing the Ironborn in the uh, Game of Thrones mod, so I haven't really experienced too much with the concubine stuff. I think I picked a betrothal instead of a marriage because I thought she was young enough to be betrothed, which apparently is my fault. Looks like I'm going to ask this... Uh Stefania to be my wife. Uh, she's lowborn, so this really should be no issue whatsoever. So I think now I'm trying to figure out who I want to give some of my titles to. Um, this is actually a mistake on my part. I should have waited until I was married to find out uh, what my demands should be once my wife's skills are combined with mine. Uh, so this might uh, come back to haunt me, I think, at the end of the day. But it's a lot to uh, a lot a lot of things going on in Crusader Kings too. Sometimes uh, it's easy to forget basic rules like that. It's really a pretty dumb mistake on my part, though. But hopefully uh, everything works out. I guess we'll find out eventually, though, right? to, uh, looks like I'm trying to grant someone a landed title. I'm going to give them, uh, Piscov or Luki, it looks like. I don't know, actually, uh, looks like I'm still having trouble deciding. Looks like 
looks like I'm going to go with Peskov. Give it to, uh, I couldn't actually see it. Kind of went by a little quick for me. Yeah, give it to uh, Count Mstislav of Piskov, my bastard son, I believe. Looking at the uh, laws, see who my heir is, who are the pretenders. Always good stuff to know. Uh, I'm stuck in Gavelkind currently, which means uh, my realm is bound to get smaller every time that I die. Which is probably not the best. For uh, someone else who I think might be loyal to uh, give some land to. Looks like I'm going to choose Ivan. Grant him a landed title. I'll look at the ledger to see uh, what's kind of the weakest place I can give him. Try to keep all the uh, stronger. Uh, richer lands for myself. Looks like I'm going to give him Luke. Uh, Lukey, yep. I think uh, I gave a couple of titles away. I think I need to uh, unpause the game and those guys will be available to be part of my council again. Looks like I'm also going to give uh, Putata a place of his own. should point out this is also the first time I played a tribal game so a lot of this is a little new to me uh, later on we'll see uh, even though they're my vassals I still kind of have to call them to war which is kind of interesting kind of new uh, at least for the base game for me it's like I'm gonna give him uh, Zoastera or something. 